always say that when I'm old and I'm gonna retire, I'd love to be a zookeeper, just because I love caring for animals and having the responsibility to work with them and to get to know them. And I think it definitely has factored into my career path, but I'm also driven in this career path by curiosity and wanting to answer questions and to be able to share my knowledge with other people because I know they may have the same questions too. And to explore what's around us a little more. I think there's so much that we don't know, we have yet to learn, and I'm just excited to be part of that learning process. We grew up in a household that really valued natural resources and being outside, so to have a career where I can do something like that is really important to me. And I love animals, and I love the idea of protecting the integrity of our native salmon and salmonids. And so working in a, in a career path that's very hands-on and very direct in restoring those populations and restoring their habitat, it means a lot to me. Being out in the field almost every day means a lot to me, and being able to see a project through completion means a lot. So when we're going into a project, the goal is to restore a certain population of salmon and we're able to see that from start to finish. It gives us an idea for what we can do the next time and how it's affecting our state's natural resources as a whole. And it has a significance that's different to each person. To the tribe, maybe more of a cultural significance. Maybe for anglers, it's a sport significance. And to us, maybe it's just a passion of being able to see natural resources and wildlife in its natural habitat and as they are thriving. You know, when you look at a body of water, whether that's a river or the ocean or a lake, and you're looking at this beautiful area of just blue water with vegetation surrounded by it, you don't always think about what's underneath the water. And so to be able to snorkel these rivers and to see the juvenile fish that are living there and that are trying to make their way as, as an adult, it's so neat. And salmon in particular, they have the most incredible lifestyle to be able to spawn in fresh water. They die and their nutrients give back to their young. And then these young, they grow there for like a year or so. They go out to the estuaries, they grow a little bit, they learn how to adapt to live in salt water, and then they go out to the ocean for three to five years, depending on the ocean conditions, and then they make it back. And the cycle happens over and over and over again. And to see the different patterns and how these fish just know that it's time to come back, it's just so special. And it's an emotional thing for people who are passionate about fisheries, because you see how much these fish go through and what they do to, to give back to their young. It's, it's a total act of giving back to the next generation. And it's just really neat. There can be some really long days, but being able to look at it from a bigger perspective and knowing that we are doing something great for the greater good of these species and we're looking at data and I'm really driven by curiosity. So I have a lot of questions about why things are the way they are and what would happen if X were to happen. And and so that drives me a lot to, to understand, to collect the data, and just knowing that we're working on something that's bigger than ourselves and that we're trying to help a species that can't really help themselves. Being a woman and a woman of color in natural resource management has its challenges, but it really depends on the people that you're with. But working in a male-dominated field, sometimes the opportunities are less for women, especially young women. So I really found a way to connect with men who were in this field that were my supervisors or who were my coworkers in a way that made them very supportive of me. And I asked really good questions and I offered help and proved to them that I could do the same things that the other younger men in, that were my coworkers could do too. You know, it, sometimes it takes a lot of confidence to be able to step up and raise your hand first, but over time it, it builds repertoire and it builds an idea in their head that you're, you're an equal and that you can ju do as much as they can. And it's really helped me along the way to just remember that these are all people and you just have to step up and do your part and be brave. <laughs> I know it might sound cheesy, but I mean, you can dream as big as you want and we only have one life to make these things happen. And if you find something that you really love and that you really want to do, do everything you can to make it happen. There are people out there that will help you. You just have to find the right people to help you. I would just really, really do everything that you can to make your dreams come true, really.